Yeehaw, it's YouTube Tuesday. It's a rainy, cold, and windy day here in Virginia, so I thought it was a good time to sit here among my nice books and share them with you. Um, I thought it was a good day to talk about how you might want to go about beginning um, to get prepared to have a little farm like ours. Um, anyway, this is Jean. I'm with CA&J. We're an educational medicinal urban egg farm here in Matthews County, Virginia. Healthy, happy seniors. Just trying to get it all done and, um, and feel good and share the word of natural wellness, um, especially as you get older. Anyway, I wanted to share how I got prepared for this. Uh, CA and I are both city kids, and uh, we were not raised, we were not born into uh, farm life, that's for sure. Our little place is small, but it still takes a lot of effort, a lot of knowledge, and a lot of work. But um, anyway, I encourage you to do all the reading you can. These are some of my favorite books. I love the whole Joel Salatin books. And then as I got into the herbs, I love Rosemary Gladstar's books, but there, there are just so many good books you can find. And... Um, I'm going to recommend one as we get more into the video. But uh, anyway, I, uh, I encourage you to take gardening classes. There are gardening um, conferences in your area. I love going to them and, uh, and botanical gardens and uh, master gardener courses. I took the master gardener class back in 98, 1998. And uh, I would love to take it again because at in 98, it didn't have all the organic information that it has now. So I might actually in my spare time <laughs> take uh, the master gardener course again. Because I would love to officially get all that organic knowledge. But anyway, I encourage you to do that. Um, read everything you can. Uh, take classes online, in person. Uh, use YouTube. Um, personally, I always thought YouTube was kind of a waste of time and um, kind of stupid. But, oh my gosh, it's the largest database, you know, in the world. Google is. And Google owns YouTube. And it's just amazing what you can look up. And, it, you know, it, it's just wonderful. Wonderful resource. Um but uh, it's a great time to learn how to be more self-sustaining and grow your own food because uh, there is a lot going on with the weather right now. A lot of weather shifts. Our planet is definitely going through some changes. Um, the flooding in the Midwest. Oh my gosh, Nebraska is like underwater. So uh, nobody seems to be talking about that much on the news, but it's definitely going to be affecting us. Um, I've been reading that uh, farmers out there lost whole crops and um, like thousands of livestock, I mean, like hogs and cattle and, and sheep. And so it, it's definitely going to affect us. Um, it's a great time to start growing some of your own food and stock up on your own supplies to take care of your family. Um, plant a veggie or herb garden. Uh, we are so excited about how our, our little farm is doing. Um, things aren't as good as normal. It's too wet here, too. It's been just way too wet. You cannot plant in the muck. And, um, uh, but, you know, I'm just going to keep, keep trying and plant, plant, plant and put up what I can and, um, let me know if you need some help. I'll, I'll give you some advice. Uh, I sure don't know it all, but, uh, but the, the, I'll tell you one thing, the, the best thing is just to keep going. Don't give up, just keep going and you'll get it. <laughs> so, um, we are also very excited about our little farm because it seems like finally this year we're being recognized as an educational farm, which um, which I love. We have all kinds of groups scheduled to come out for um, for educational programs about the herbs and the solar system. You know, we're we're you know we have our, our off grid capable solar system, and they're interested in that and uh, and just about how we're doing all this on five little acres. But uh, anyway, we're anxious to share. So we love sharing ideas of how to live healthy and more naturally. And um, especially as you get older, we're really wanting to inspire older people. Um, even if you're younger now, believe me, before you know it, you will be older. And you want to set yourself up now so that you won't be in pain and that your health will not be affecting the quality of your life. Because, hey, I want to live my whole hundred, hundred or so years and be happy and have good energy and you know, and there's no reason I can't. Um, I especially love to inspire women to keep smiling because women work so hard and I, I, you know, we need to take, take care of ourselves. Um, sleep is the best herb you can take and it's so cheap. <laughs> you just got to get it, you know. Uh, I want to recommend a book that a friend of mine, actually two women wrote it, but I only know the one um, in person, Carol Clark is one of the authors, and it is um, 
Fulfilled After 50, How to Create the Life You Desire and Deserve. It's like $14.97 on Amazon. It's written by women for women. And uh, it sure inspired me. And I, you, you will love it. it uh, it's just amazing. And uh, I love to see women helping women because that's what it's all about. It's about all of us helping each other. Anyway, this is a short video this week. Uh, I am busy getting ready for a 4-H day camp here on Thursday, and I've still got a lot to do, um, But um, so I need to go. But the videos will be longer as we get into summer. Right now, we have so much to do, so little time, so plant, plant, plant. And I just want you to know, hey, be amazing, because you are.